Hello everyone and welcome welcome to another episode of our tutorial series. Today we are going to talk about Dorico's time signatures. If you're new to the channel or the Dorico tutorials, please make sure to check the other videos as they can give you a better insight into Dorico. Link will be in the description below. All right. So as usual with everything in Dorico, you have two ways of adding or modifying things. One is with the popovers and one is with this right panel. And it is as simple as it was with the key signatures. So if you want to add a time signature to your score, the first way is to just highlight a spot in your score and just add the time signature. So for example, I highlight it and I'm gonna click here Two, four. Okay, now let's add some extra bars here. So one way I can do that is to just click on this plus sign here to add some extra, um, extra bars. And the other way of adding uh, time signatures to my extra bars here or anywhere in your score is to just highlight it again and press shift M then I can just write whatever I want. So I'm gonna write four, eight. And notice after adding any time signature to your score, you will have a tiny history in your uh, right paddle. So this is the history of whatever used, uh, whatever you have, whatever you have used in your score, and you can just alternate between them, and it makes it uh, work faster and quite uh, convenient to use. Okay, so now that we know everything about the, the time signatures, let's explore the create time signature box. And you have options like regular, additive, interchangeable, aggregate, and alternating. So let's start. Regular is just a default time signature. But uh, since we're talking about regular, let's also talk about adding a pickup bar. Um, First off, if you wanna add a pickup bar, it's good to highlight it. So tick this box here, and then I'm gonna say, hey, I need a, a half of a beat with a 4-4. Four, four. So if I just click here, highlight it, and I'll just click on this 4-4 four, four here. Yeah. So now you have a extra tiny, uh, eighth note here as a pickup. And now look, Dorico gives you a flag here that it shows that, hey, you have a 4-4 four, four, and then with a comma and then there's a half here, which means that you can also use this to, uh, you can also type this in a popover to initiate it. You don't have to go to the right panel. But now if I add one here, then you have a pickup bar of a quarter. Next the option is the additive one uh, additive one lets you specify the grouping of beats so for example uh, if i want to add the groupings here so if i want to write three plus three yeah see plus doesn't work here if i want to add groupings i'm typing it on my keyboard but then if you go to additive then you can say okay three plus three plus two all right and then you can see it here and I just select somewhere and I put it here. And it works with any time signature. Uh, and also what you can do with the popover, you can also do shift M, two plus two plus two, and then eight. And also this will be your new uh, time signature here. Now we have interchangeable. Interchangeable time signatures allow you to automatically hide the time signatures for bars that alternate frequently. And this makes the score cleaner. And this is very useful for scores with repetitive changes. So let's see. I'm gonna click on interchangeable. Then I'm just gonna go here. Uh, and, oh, and also I forgot, as you can see, there's like a bunch of boxes here that you can use. Um, and this is the interchangeable part. So I'm gonna write two, four, and I'm gonna write five, eight, whoop. All right, and let's see, if I just click on here, you have the two, four, five, two, four, five, eight. Let's see. Now, look, this is a two, four, 
and 5 8 here right but whatever is happening here is only 2 4 that is because you need to type in a 5 8 there so I can just do a shift M and a 5 8 I'm just gonna remove this tie so it makes it easy all right so what it does as I told you it hides the uh, the time signature of the second time signature that you added here, it hides it. So you don't have to continuously um, show or hide it when you are writing a score that uses interchangeable time signatures. It's pretty handy. And you can also swap them. So if you want, you can also put the 5-8 to the other side and 2-4 to the other side. And also it's possible to change the, uh, change, change the way this thing looks. So if you open the lower column here, you can go to the separator and just click on any of these uh, symbols to change it. Okay, next one, we're gonna talk about the aggregate time signature, which is just, uh, it just shows a division between two time signatures. So I'm gonna try it on here. Let's just say two, four, five, eight, and I'm gonna click. Let's see, let's put some notes. You see the difference here? It's already making a division. This is a bit like Stravinsky style um, time signatures and the divisions. It's pretty cool if you're writing complex rhythms. And uh, yeah, the only difference is just this squiggly uh, bar line here. And as you can see, this is counted as one bar with Dorico. So if you click between the lines here, it selects everything. And then finally, you have the alternating. Alternating is similar to the interchangeable one, but the difference is that it's just gonna automatically alternate between your time signatures. So for example, first it's two, four, and then it's gonna be three, eight. Uh, sorry, five, eight. So two, four, five, eight, two, four, five, eight. I'm just gonna repeat and that's it. And now, finally, let's take a look at these uh, options down here. If I highlight it and I go to the lower panel, you have a uh, hide bar number, which is just shows or hides the bar number, as you can see up there. And interchangeable, we already talked about it. Common or cut time is also clear. It's just the way it looks. So if I put a 4-4 here, then I can use common or Cut time here, as you can see, it's changing. Um, and then you have open style, which is a, a way to add a senza misura uh, bars in your uh, time signature. So for example, if you have a bar or, or a line that doesn't have a key signature, you can just uh, do shift M and press X. So the, from now on, there's there's going to be no no time signature here, and the way if you want it to look like this, you can just click on it, and you can just put it on none. I would rather put it on none, and I just write a senza misura on top. But uh, but if you wanted to do with the X, you can of course do it, and these flags are also helpful because there's no time signature here any, anymore, and you can just easily click on it. Okay. Then you have the denominator style down here, which is just the appearance. I'm going to try it for you. Uh, denominator style. You see, it's changing. Okay. And then uh, going on, you have the numerator style, which is the beat group and number. So it makes it even, the it makes the division even more tiny. So you can uh, see it better. Then you have the separator, which we already talked about, but uh, it, it only works for certain. So for example, it doesn't work on this one because it really has to be a plus if you're writing uh, with, the, uh, with this sort of time signature. And then you have the hiding time signature and cautionary at the end of the system is similar as with the key signatures. And there you have it, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please do leave them in the comment section. And also don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And till later, bye.